Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, first, thank you for being here for us and Cheers. being so friendly and nice and everything. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, my question is, uh, did you guys record any cast commentary for the extended edition or will you? Or is it I don't think we're important enough to do uh, that. No, 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 you know it too. They didn't. But it'd be so much fun to do that, to sit down with the entire cast and crack open beers and comment on it. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. I was like, I can't wait to do the commentary, and they're like, oh, we did it last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? It's like Andy Serkis was really funny. Yeah, yeah, Andy Serkis did you really well, Dean. Don't worry about it. Alright, thank you. No, we didn't do it. <laughs> First question was a painful one. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Um, I was wondering if you'd do the, um, are you Mr. Boggins? Mr. <laughs> Boggins, how did that go again? <laughs> how, what was the line, give me a run into that. Yeah. Like, are you Mr. Boggins? What was the line before? <laughs> so you're doing it pretty well, you're showing me up already. <laughs> did I? At your service. Are you Mr. Boggins? <laughs> Oh, I can't remember now. Oh. How much you pay me for that? <laughs> Alright, next question. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hey, where's that coming from? Thank you for being here and being so beautiful. <laughs> You're welcome. I had nothing to do with that. Where is that coming from, by the way? Hello. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's like... Whoa. Oh, that's just a little harsh. What's been your favorite scene to film in the movie? Favorite scene? Yeah. Mine was the, uh, mine was Gollum. Gollum cave scene was the best one for me. <laughs> so no, we guys are like, not really there at all. Uh, <laughs> one that we were in? Oh, that, I think that's all to come. I mean, I yeah, this other thing is in the third movie. There's a lot of good elf stuff that, that we do. Um, in the first movie, we did some fun stuff together. Yeah, my favourite stuff was in the second film, I can't tell you about it. That's gonna be cool. But I want to though, God I want to. You know what happens at the end? Oh. Yeah. It's funny when you start recognizing everybody. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, uh, Jessica, right? Oh, oh my god. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Really impressed. Jessica's having a pretty good day today. I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. It started at 3 30 in the morning, and this is awesome. <laughs> okay, so I want to ask you guys you already know that you inspire me artistically, and I'm going for the deep question here. What inspires you guys? Oh, man. You know, it's actually. Um, I, it's hard to say because you never know where inspiration comes from. Um, I mean, I get it from movies, I get it from books, uh, you know, nature. And you get it from working as well, I find. I mean, you might not be into a particular genre of film, um, per se, but you, you shoot it or you do it or you read the script or you get cast in it or you have friends who work in it and that kind of gets the ball rolling in that and you discover more. So it's, it's through working for me that, you, that I kind of learn a lot. And you, did you draw, did you frame that, that picture? Yeah. I mean, just even meeting, not to be so cheesy, but meeting people like yourself are very talented and, and that's, it is an inspiration, you know, that, that, those oh, things all, all mean a lot, yeah. And, and look, to be fair, I'm not trying to kiss anyone's ass here, but <laughs> meeting fans who are lovely, like yourself, and excited and enthusiastic, yeah. really makes you feel good and reminds me that, you know, the work you do as an actor gets seen by people and it affects people in, in various ways. And I think that's really nice because when you're on set or when you're making a film, there's no real audience. Really, there's just the crew, which is generally a bunch of dudes just sort of like looking at you going. Oh, we're not impressed at all. Yeah, yeah, going, is that how you're going to do it? Was that funny? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm off lunch. Yeah, you suck. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so it's really nice. It's nice for us, eh? Mm, I mean, you can think, oh, yeah, we've got an audience. Well, thank you so much for doing it. We're all here for you. So, thanks, guys. All of you. <laughs> Somebody just wrote cock on this piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious. Hello. Hey. hey. Uh, Colleen. Uh, hi. Is that your name? Is that your name? Yes. <laughs> Two zero. 
we work on um, The <laughs> internet has noticed that in back end, in the beginning of the movie, Frodo lifts up a sword from the chest. Is it Feelys? Uh, what? Is the, sword, <laughs> is the sword in Bag End that Frodo picks up Feelys? Yeah, I think. Frodo picks up a sword? When does it. <laughs> Yeah, I think. Uh, wait, when? When? In the movie? In the very beginning. When? when really? old it, do Bilbo. I give them to him? Maybe just after I've given them to him? Or? No, she's no, talking about Frodo. This is old Bilbo oh, and God, Frodo I, in Bag End. Uh, it, I thought that was a oh, letter opener or something. That's not quite a sword. Is it? I, um, yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> 100%. No, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. But I think, I think we can safely say yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, look at all these hands. Is there a bachelorette party going on over there? I'm, I'm seeing some very familiar sounds I've heard in bars before. <laughs> it's one of my best friend's birthday to meet a lot to her to wish her happy birthday. Could you please... What's her name? Zoe, right here. What's her name? Zoe. You Zoe. Happy birthday, here. Zoe. Happy birthday, Zoe. <laughs> you, you're pretty easy to see in that colour. <laughs> Hi. Well, um... She's crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're just trying to be nice, man. What the hell? Yes. Hi. Um, so, I was wondering, um, do you think... Uh, your characters will be just as majestic as Thorin one day. Just as majestic as Thorin. Uh, I, I, I don't think we can beat Thorin in any way. He's, he's the coolest guy, and I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not um, going off on a point here, but uh, working with Richard a lot over the past couple of years and, and seeing him just recently uh, for the reshoots fighting and stuff, he's just such a hero. He is, and he is so majestic, and, and, he's, he's, and he's so graceful and brilliant. And, yeah. and uh, as a character, he was he was incredibly inspirational as well as a person. So yeah. uh, I've I've no trouble playing uh, second fiddle to Thorin. All right. Yeah, the he's a hard act to follow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, also, uh, Aiden, yeah. I have a question for you. Um, do you know Gaelic? Uh, I do a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Test me. You won't know. I'm going to lie to you. <laughs> no, no, I will know. I'm Irish. <laughs> Try me. Fada deer means father. That's the, say again, what? Fada deer. Fada deer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 why not? <laughs> Hi. 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 I'm back here. Oh, yeah. So I'm reading The uh, Hobbit to my kids, and we saw the first movie. And I know the second movie is about smog, but we're, we're trying to figure out what's going to be left for the third movie. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, imagine, imagine we imagine gave it away. That, yeah, yeah. Well, what happens at the end of the third film? <clears throat> um, we, we, we can't say, mate. We can't say. We don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> As we said to some fans, I think over the last couple of days, it's, it's even tough to know what Peter will leave in and what he, what, what he won't leave in uh, in the movie anyway. I mean, he shoots so much, so it's, it's, yeah. it's hard for us to even speculate, to be honest. I mean, we're not skirting your question. But, I mean, we'd, we'd finished primary most of the shooting, right? And we got yeah. told it was going to be three movies. That's so, right. I mean, That's right. So it, it, can go, it can go either way. So uh, it'll be our surprise as well as yours, uh, I believe, for the third one. <laughs> You got a bat fan. Yeah, this little kid was gonna fall off the chair. <laughs> hey, mate. I wasn't sure if you wanted a question to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> um, when, uh, when, uh, before you were uh, filming the movie, did you have to read the book so you could get the character? You would think so, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Some of us were a little late uh, to the. <laughs> to the Tolkien story. Um, I read it after, I think this, I said this in press so many times, you're probably all sick of hearing this, uh, so if you've heard it before, excuse it, but I, I met Peter, and um, that was his first question, you know, have you read the book? You know, or well, what are you doing here? And I told him I hadn't, which was the truth, so he, he proceeded to tell me that the whole story. So that, I think that's how the meeting really worked and how I kind of got the job. We got on very well, because, you know, Peter likes to talk about Tolkien, and, and I'm an actor who likes to listen, <laughs> I think. Uh, I get jobs. So, um, <laughs> so it worked for both of us. So, but obviously being cast and stuff. I think I probably read it before I was cast. I'd like to think I did. I'm not that lazy, surely. Yeah. Good question, though. Thanks, mate. Can we get another beer here soon? <laughs> I mean, I mean water. 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 I'll buy you around. Good times. Yeah, Party time. Later. 
See you on the north end. <laughs> Some of that southy tap water. <laughs> Hi. 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 Um, I was wondering, what was it like wearing the different, like, the costumes? Because they look really heavy. Really hot. <laughs> yeah, how many layers? Oh, many, many layers. Well, the worst one was our, was our um, but we arrived in Bag End, I think was the heaviest. Yeah, costume. that was, uh, we, uh, when we first arrived in Bag End, that was, I think, my second day of filming. And they, since, after that, they changed our costumes because they were too heavy. But we were wearing full leather, real steel swords. We had undergarments, real leather, like undergarment, it was ridiculous. We had, so we had, you know, underwear, and then we had fat suit over the top, or muscle suit, muscle suit. however you want to look at it. Um, and then we had uh, cotton, sort of like nightgown thing, and then like a leather waistcoat, and then the leather jacket, and then the swords, and then the bags, and then the fake head, and then the wig. And then you gotta pretend that you're not bothered by any of it, you know, you gotta yeah. pretend you're a, you're a dwarven like, hey, warrior. Yeah. And it's, hey, we're here to and that's why we couldn't bow, hey, we went closer, we're just, we get back <laughs> They're literally plugging us into these machines that yeah. run cold water around our bodies so stuff is passing out. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it was my second day and I thought, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I am in so much trouble. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't, I mean, the sweat, I was like trying yeah. to do a line. I just couldn't see anything. <laughs> oh, come on. How disappointing is that? It's vodka. Very Cheers, Hello. 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 Personal Hobbit unrelated question. Are you Doctor Who fans? <laughs> oh shit. What? <laughs> uh, um, 100%. I, I, I'm not too familiar with Doctor Who. I work with a couple of guys on being I know. It always gets that. Okay, if you um, are, when someone who's dressed as Doctor Who asks you that, yeah, it's pretty you know, <laughs> It's pretty hard to say no. <laughs> I'm not, we, we worked with Sylvester, didn't we? He was he was a he was a who. Doctor. I'm a fan of him, so in a way. Yeah. He was a doctor, um, yes. And and being sort of yeah. you know Irish and, and close to the UK and stuff, you meet people all the time and actor friends. It's like a thing, it's like a coming of age thing as an actor when you when you work on Doctor Who. Everyone seems to do it. I haven't, but I, I don't know. I, I'd like to have think I haven't. Have you met any of the doctors yet. other than Sylvester McCoy? Like, have you met David Tennant or? Who's the last guy? Um, <laughs> Sylvester McCoy. I think I probably met him once. <laughs> Maybe. Um, but I mean, other than him, have you met any of the who actors? The last time I watched Doctor Who, and not because I don't like the program, I just literally just haven't watched it, um, was I saw it in black and white in the 80s. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I mean, they had colour TV in the 80s. But I saw it in black and white. The guy with the biggest beard ever down there, he's about 50. Just yeah, he's going, yeah. so happy. He's yeah. so loud. <laughs> Yeah, um, and it really scared me as a kid. I found it really scary. It's such a weird, weird show, show, isn't it? It's a weird show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it, but it's weird. <laughs> Thank you. The forest of hands. I'm going to ask you guys to settle an argument I had with my dad a long, long time ago. <laughs> How do you pronounce the dragon's name? Small. Oh. Smog is in that crappy air in LA. <laughs> I thought it was Smaug. No. Oh, this is the know. exact same argument I had with my dad. You're literally asking Peter the two Jackson worst would... people to ask. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's not hey, hey, can I just tell a story? Yeah, yeah. We were in ADR, right? Which is, for those of you that don't know, is doing the dialogue or bits of dialogue after it's been shot, you know? So maybe some background stuff or redoing, revoicing a line of dialogue. And Aiden and I were in the same booth and we're doing sort of, we're in the barrels and it was like yelling out to each other. No, oh, I can't actually tell you what we're doing. Anyway, Aiden was, Aiden was, had to yell out to me and Aiden yelled out, Killy, are you alright? But with so much emotion. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm Philly. And he was like, oh yeah, I'm Killy. And then Peter said, Peter Jackson did it as well. He does it all the time. We did it all the time. He's like, uh, Philly, mum, no, no, Killy. No, 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 you know, when you attack Killy, uh, Philly, we literally, literally never got our names right. Well, he used to pronounce smog, schmog. <laughs> Balin was Balin and Dwaylin, Dwaylin, so he doesn't even have a clue. So, um, but we'll, but we'll find out Philly shortly. Yeah. Good question, though. Good question. Anton Dick. So, your, your row has not been sorted out yet. Hi. Hey. Um, My question just. Holy shit. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. No, you no. said. You no. <laughs> bachelorette party. Oh. It is like the bachelorette party. Look, it might not be a good question. You might have dodged she a bullet. Listens to her mother. That's good. I have, I have two. My name will cry forever. 
I have two questions. The first one is the most important one. I got your autographs for my daughter for her birthday. Her is it Jay's? It is Jay's. Oh my god! I literally can't remember my own name. I can remember yours for that, by the way. I'm impressed. So. <laughs> I didn't realize so I got her both of your autographs for her birthday, as an early birthday present. Amazing gift. But Aiden, <laughs> Aiden, your autograph is wearing off her picture, and she wants to know if you will re-sign it for her. <laughs> for, $40, please. <laughs> uh, absolutely, we'll do it straight after the show. Thank you. And then the second question, I'm going to give to her. Okay. My mom warned me not to say this, but she just took my question. Is it about, is it about a blue shirt? N no. no. Right. So basically, I'm speaking on behalf of like, I don't know, 70% of the internet. Where do you two plan on getting married or whatever? What date do we sit? <laughs> what date? What date? Um, in the summer, probably. <laughs> We're gonna go this summer, yeah. I mean, New Zealand I'm, summer or yeah, like, well, like, like, summer. We, we sort it out. We we'll sort that one out. Yeah. To be honest, we don't want to jump into anything too quickly. You know, so. <laughs> but it's on the cards. It's circling the it's on the cards. Yeah. Seventy oh, percent of the internet. Seventy percent. I think that might be overshooting somewhat. Yeah. All right, come on. Question. Let's go. Hello. What's up, hey. Chelsea? <laughs> How are you on state capital? Jeez. I'm like I'm like one of those weird magicians. <laughs> Sit down, Rachel. Sit down. Blah, blah. What up? Um. <laughs> so you forget your question. <laughs> yeah, I did because she laughed at me. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure like everybody in here is from like a lot of everybody is from all different places. Like I'm from New Orleans. A lot of people in here are from Boston and whatnot. Is there any? Yeah. Push through, push through. Okay, is there... Is there... Ah! Uh, is there anywhere in particular that you've always wanted to shoot a movie? Like, is there any particular location? Oh, shit, yeah, there's loads. Oh, there's so many. Um... Oh, well, do you know what? Next, I'd like to do one in Ireland, actually. I mean, that's really cheesy, but I'd like to do one. I've been away for so long, it'd be nice to bring it home. Um, somewhere really sunny. Miami would be nice, I think. Some, some gorgeous islands somewhere. Yeah. Caribbean islands. Yeah. That's, there you go. They don't, they don't do movies over there. Anymore. Don't yeah, do Miami. Too, some islands. <laughs> Why? Not Miami. I'd do New Orleans, yeah. I'd do anywhere. Anywhere, I love it. Anywhere, anywhere they offer a job. <laughs> New Hampshire. <laughs> Screaming. There's a muffled scream coming from somewhere. It's a baby. I, that is more than a kid. Is it a baby? Oh, it's actually crying. Oh, it's actually upset. Him. Let him off. He's, he's allowed to do that. He's allowed. Hi. Oh, yeah. Um, you don't know my name, I'm sure, because I only Hold get on my second, order yeah. of sound, signs with Dion, so he probably doesn't remember. Yeah, good. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, we've seen, I'm sure everybody has seen all the production videos and everything, and I just, I was watching them and I thought it's so cool being on set. I just thought that would be my dream job, like working on the set of The Hobbit. So can you tell us about your best uh, day that you had shooting the movie, something like that was very, made you very happy, so we can imagine the atmosphere? Yeah. Um, do you know what the thing about the production videos, I, I think they were very close to, to the buzz. I think what you see is kind of what you get with them. It was really like that. I mean, we were watching them as they, as they came out um, in, the tra in our own trailers and yeah. this is exactly it. I mean, this is the, the buzz that, that we're feeling as well. So I think that was kind of cool, that knowing that people who are watching these are kind of experiencing similar to, to what we did. Um, I had a cool day uh, recently on the reshoots. Uh, was, every day was amazing, really, but um, not every day, but most days. Uh, well, it was just it was just me. Dean's gonna hate to hear this, but uh, it was it was not it was just me. It was the only day of the whole shoot for me in two and a half years where I was the only actor on the on the with Peter on on the main stage and and just to share time with him and 
and to muck around and do stuff and it was fighting and I, it felt like a, a real uh, there's a real sense of an ending there for me because uh, I couldn't share it with anyone it was just me so it was quite personal and um, that was really special I remember that quite well so for me that, that was one of many 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 standouts yeah. and you won't tell us who you're fighting with orcs <laughs> orcs bloody orcs everybody bloody orcs they have our smelly orcs thank you cheers All right. I want to actually state one thing. This next person has been waiting to meet you guys. She actually... Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina. It's, nah, it's not. I've, I've Go, sorry. It's yours. Um, other than the TV show you're doing and Mortal Instruments, what else are you guys going to be working on in the future? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, uh, sleeping. I'm going to do a lot of sleeping in the immediate future. Yeah. Um, um, well, Mortal Instruments, yeah, but that's... that's uh, when do I go over? I go over mid-September. I shoot until Christmas. I'll be in Toronto until uh, until Christmas. And, and in the new year, I think I will be doing a movie in Ireland. Um, but that's the great thing about being an actor again. You, mean, you don't know where you're going to be and stuff. And things just happen really quickly. I didn't know I was going to spend two years in New Zealand until, you know, months, weeks before it happened, six weeks before it happened. So uh, you don't really know. But uh, hopefully, you know, things are things are on the up come on. Hi. Hey. Um, actually, Dean, I have two questions for you. Yeah. One, how do you, how do you function with this beard on your face? Yeah, I know. I've been having so many problems today. If you, if you can figure it out, you know, let me know. Okay, I will. I will. Yeah, well, um, we ended up on the last day of shooting, literally. We used a slightly different kind of glue, which you're not supposed to put on your face. Um, did the job pretty well, though. It never came off. Well, it came off eventually after scrubbing, but it's, yeah, it's hard. I'm glad that you are experiencing that. Have you tried, have you tried to eat anything? That's impossible. I was trying to eat pizza, and it was just yeah, getting that's everywhere, no good. and I just... It, it was Only cool. things through a straw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I figured that out. How so. miserable. Oh, oh, I'm so glad I didn't have to wear a beard. <laughs> no, I can't. Okay. Yeah, hey. Hey, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all right, hey. It hasn't split it off yet. Isn't it brilliant? <laughs> Stubble rules. <laughs> um, my second question, Dean. Um, yeah. I am a huge fan of your photography. Oh, thank you. Um, I was wondering when you would be doing more and if you would possibly ever come to America to do like an exhibit type thing? Uh, yeah, I, well, I'm always working on stuff. I'm always working on stuff. I got some more things that I would like to exhibit end of this year, maybe beginning of next year, just as time and work dependent. Um, and yeah, totally think about doing an um, exhibition in the States. I've got lots of friends in the States and I'm sort of, a friend of mine's got sort of a warehouse space and I thought it might be quite cool to do that in LA. Um, But yeah, but yeah, definitely want to do something overseas. That would be awesome. <laughs> okay, hi. Uh, so, who would win in a fight? Would it be this question? What, would it would it be Mitchell versus like Keeley? Who would win that? And who would win Feely versus Anders? Go. Ke Keeley versus Anders. Anders, no chance. No. <laughs> no. Ada and I have not seen each other's shows, so... You should probably do that. Just sit down one day and just go ahead, let's watch the show. That's an interesting question, because I said, I think me and Aiden would probably just rather have a beer, and Aiden said I would kick Dean's ass. <laughs> so... Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, it's, such, it's such an odd question because I really think about it then. I'm, I'm, I've I, been thinking about it too, and I yeah. just don't know. <laughs> Where's this coming from? We, we're wave your hand around. I mean, there. maybe Aiden's kind of bigger, but I'm angry. Sure. Sure. It's, it's me. <laughs> it's Keely. Keely it's and Keely. Mitchell. Yeah. Um, It'd be a good fight, I think. I mean, Keely's a little scrapper. He's a little scrapper, yeah, maybe. Keely. But Mitchell's pretty mean. He's a tough one, yeah, but he's got a but, big but heart, got, though. Got heart, yeah. I think, he, you know, an old Mitchell. Mitchell in the early days would have given a proper fight. I think Mitchell, when we caught up with him in the show. I don't know, third season. I don't know. Third yeah, season was pretty shit. bad. Yeah, that's right. I forgot yeah. that. I forgot that bit. I don't know. It's, it all depends on what season it is. You How can we find out this answer? I really want yeah, to know now. figure it out, because I, I want to do. know. How do we do this? Can, can we figure this out? Just, okay. just, you just gotta, you gotta ask know. around. Let's hey, figure this out. Can you, can Get back to me when you figure it out. Oh, oh I will. I want to see facts and figures. <laughs> It's 
bought this t-shirt before I came in here. I think it's so funny. It says, I have failed this city on it. Hello. Hi. Hey, Sam. Oh, shit. Susie. Stop! That was so cool, with that one. We well, we remember, because you gave us those hats. You did, boss. Yeah, red sweatshirts. Wicked gift. Yeah, we're pretty excited about it. Yeah, we're excited about it, too. Um, anyways, you sort of touched already um, on the end of shooting. I was just wondering, what was the last day like for you, and what's it like now that it's over? Mm. Oh, man. Um, it, it was really weird, actually. Mm. The last day was really surreal. I mean, I felt, I did feel sad, and I felt sort of, I felt lots of different things. I mean, it was such a long journey that we went on. Um, and then I think I still really haven't quite got it in my head that I'm not working on it. But I mean, I, I really do feel that way. Like, I feel like I'll be going back next week. And I think if I am, whatever I'm going to feel is probably headed my way. I, haven't, I don't think I really felt it yet. Well, when do we finish? I'm telling people it's like just Friday. Like, yeah, right. It's like a Friday. week. Oh, yeah, yeah. week. Um, yeah, yeah, that, I guess it does feel a bit odd, but um, I guess uh, when we finished the first time before the reshoots, I mean, we had a rap party and we said goodbye to everyone, and then to come back again, it was a little bit odd, and, but you get back into it very quickly and stuff, so, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, what, well, it's, Graham probably kill me for this, but, it, du Graham's a really sweet man, he plays Dwalin, and Dwalin is not Graham, really, he's a big, uh, kind of like, uh, angry dwarf, and... <laughs> This is a nice story, but it sounds like I'm hassling him, but it's not. But he was, um, he got unexpectedly choked up uh, when we rapped, and he and he started, he started sort of crying, and um, we he came up to me and Aiden, and I thought we thought he was joking. Hey? He's Dwalin, he's fucking huge. Yeah, Dwalin too was on his He's got like orc blood all over him and axes, and he gave Aiden a hug, okay, and then he just. <laughs> Started crying, and we we were kind of mean. We just kept laughing. We thought we could do this thing, <laughs> and then he walked away. And we're like, was he really upset? I think he might have been really upset. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I hope that makes it onto some DVD. Oh, well, they're filming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it come out of the toilet, and they're like, oh, <laughs> oh my face was so sore from smiling. <laughs> Hey there, what's your drop? Smash, bang. Oh, Wall, the poster. Blank. <laughs> blank. Okay. I cried a lot yesterday. You did. I tried to, <laughs> to keep myself. Don't, just let it go, baby. Just let it go. <laughs> just do it to Alan. Go, just let it go. I'm here. I have two questions for Aiden that would just like make my life. Go on, so you can do it. First, did you have any archery experience or training? No, no, just nailed it straight away, really. <laughs> No, oh, I'm, I'm amazing in that kind of stuff. <laughs> he is good, he's good. The other one, have you ever visited Edinburgh before? Have I? Yeah. Edinburgh? What a, what a strange question. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, well, you, you're not from there. Yeah, I was born. You were born there. I, I'd love to go to the Edinburgh Festival. It's supposed to be stunning and the yeah. city's supposed to be lovely. It's definitely on the list, high up on the list. So I will, I'll, I'll be going now. When is it on? When's the festival on? I'm not sure. I honestly, I lived there until I was four, and then Did you? came back, and I hope to. You re-reminded me. That's on, that's on the list. Yeah. No. So I haven't yet, but I will. There you go. You didn't cry. Well done. I'm going to. <laughs> 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 